Hi guys and welcome to Behind the Launch, the place where we do honest interviews with successful entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Peter Dupria. In today's episode, we've invited Ike Paz to come and talk to us about his new product called Friendly 2.0. This is a very unique method that you can use to start an online business today, but more about that in the interview. Let's get right to it. Hi, Ike, and welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, Peter. How you doing? No, I'm doing well on you. I'm pretty good. Uh, thanks for having me today. If you don't mind, I'd like to talk a little bit about Printly. Um, I'm actually relaunching it. Uh, it's 2.0 now, Printly 2.0, and I have a bunch of uh, new videos, case studies, uh, another traffic tool, another traffic method, and uh, different applications for uh, for the common person to make money online using printables. Okay, well, it sounds all good. Uh, first of all, just again, thanks for making the time. I know it's a bit difficult with a huge time zone be- between you sitting in Japan, right? And I'm back in nice SA. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> but again, thanks for making the time. And um, you did thanks mention me. you did mention we had to talk about friendly today. But before we dive into that, uh, for the audience, please just give us a bit of a background on what you do and what's your experience in the internet marketing space and basically why people should listen. Well, thank you. Um, I will. It's kind of a long story. I hope you have time. Uh, back back in the day, I uh, like many uh, budding entrepreneurs, I wanted to start. Uh, I wanted to create my own asset. You know, I read books like uh, Four Hour Work Week, Rich Dad Poor Dad, all that stuff. Assets create create something that creates a, a residual income for you. Um, I didn't have money for real estate or for stocks or any of that, so I looked into I am, and I found. And like most people, I bought some courses, and a lot of these courses talk about finding what people want and giving it to them using the Google Keyword Planner, other keyword search tools. Uh, And I went after one of the big niches parenting and from there I found babies and then from there I found baby showers. Okay, and by this time I I didn't have much success. I was successful at ranking posts. This is back when Google was a toddler. So you can easily fool Google, right? Not not, not so much these days, but anyways. (laughs) Um, I was good at ranking posts and making some income with AdSense. And then I saw a trend go around, um, something called a diaper cake. Diaper cake is a type of, I know it sounds weird, diaper cake is a type of baby shower gift that uh, the expecting mother's friends will give her on the baby shower day. And uh, I found a lady in Kentucky in the United States who could actually drop ship, uh, create the diaper cakes, and, and send them to people that, that I tell her to. And I make profit from the margin. And that was great, she made great work. Unfortunately, sometimes um, I couldn't depend on her and she screwed up the orders and whatnot. And I, I'd have to eat the customer complaints. That was no go. I had to sever ties with that. Then I created a little membership site on how to create diaper cakes, okay? This is, YouTube is still in, in its infancy at this time. Um, and I had a little membership site and people can buy it for like $7, learn the secrets on how to make beautiful diaper cakes. I went home for Christmas one day, I had my brother with a camera and I was making diaper cakes. And actually I'm really famous for that. If you go to YouTube and put in diaper cakes tutorial, you'll probably see my face. I got thousands of views of me making a diaper cake. It's, it's embarrassing, but there you go. Um, <laughs> and the reason why those videos are on YouTube now is because people were making their own YouTube videos Put it on YouTube, of course, it's YouTube. And there was no reason for people to buy my little membership course. So I took the videos I already had and I just put them on YouTube for the traffic. And I needed another kind of um, a way to advertise, I mean, a way to profit online. So I went to a, an affiliate network called Share a Sale and I found they had many baby shower goods. I was selling them. And then for some reason, the affiliate managers I was working with, she left and my sales plummeted, like it didn't convert as well. Very fishy, to this day I don't know what happened. Back to square one, I had all this traffic, I didn't know how to, how to, how to, um, how to, how to profit online with this traffic. Mm-hmm. So uh, I went looking around and I went to Etsy and stuff and I saw people were selling paper goods, printables, digital good, they buy it, they print it out and yeah, people profit this way. You know, you know, I don't have to ship anything, I don't have to send anything, no hassle very little uh, customer problems at all. And uh, I started, um, I had this lady on Fiverr creating for me 
digital printable backgrounds. Now, that's a kind of a barrier to entry. People don't have these, artic uh, these artistic skills to um, create these kind of you know, beautiful looking backgrounds and whatnot for, for the printables. Excuse me. Come on, policeman. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry, do you hear that? It's really noisy. <laughs> Anyways, Canva came along. Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com. Okay. Holy Jesus, Mother Mary, whatever, whatever you want to pray to. Anybody can get on that thing and create stunning printables, okay? So after a while, I didn't need my, my, uh, my outsourcer, my uh, uh, Filipino assistant. I could go to Canva myself, create those printables myself, and put them, put them on my website where I got all this traffic. And uh, that's what I do in Printly. I show people how to get the traffic, how to find printable product ideas, all that good stuff. Mm. And that's, yeah, so that sounds very interesting. And I mean, it's not something uh, known. It's like a very unique th thing you do, but this is basically what you do on a daily basis. This is your business, right? Yes, yes, it is my business. Okay, cool. And um, if we can just backtrack to, I mean, Printly One was released uh, sometime last year. And that was very successful and very um, people jumped on that. Um, so just to talking about uh, 2.0. So what what can we expect? What's the enhancements? So obviously, your business grow and you tweak here and there. And is is 2.0 all the tweaks and stuff you've done since last year in your own business, or what? What's the what do you get? A lot. Uh, kind of a story again. Here you go. Um, first off, how I find printable product ideas has changed a bit because Pinterest has changed a bit. Uh, I, I redid that completely to reflect how I find printable product ideas now and in, in the current time, 2018. Um, besides that, I have added a new traffic method plus a new piece of software. Now, this isn't resale stuff. This is a piece of traffic software that I had created for myself. Actually, there's two of them. In Printly 1.1, you get the Pinterest traffic tool, which is still there. It's still there for you, and it still works. Uh, so, does the, so does the Pinterest traffic method. Now I have a new traffic method, Facebook Groups, and I also have another piece of uh, software, a Google Chrome extension I had created for myself. It What it does is it captures all of the Facebook groups you belong to, whatever niche you're in, and it will let you know when you're allowed to publish or promote your content on those Facebook groups. It also allows you to save your content within that little Chrome extension. Really helpful, big time saver. On top of that, um, I had many people ask me questions. How, how do I make a blog? I thought people like knew how to do this because the, the, the technology is so, it's, it's so uh, available and out there. But I, I created a video around that. Not only do you learn how to make an e-commerce site, but you learn how to make a blog really simple and quickly. On top of that, <laughs> I, have, I have a lot to say, sorry. Okay, no, go, um, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, people are asking about email marketing. How can I apply printables to email marketing? Which I do myself. Um, I use printables as lead magnets, as sheet sheets, and I leverage those subscribers and I profit with affiliate products on the back end, de depending on the niche. So for example, in the baby shower niche, mm -hmm. I might promote like a child safety kit that I find on ShareASell. That's an affiliate network. Or I might promote like, um, like a, the there's a, a nice affiliate program that I use called uh, nursery project, which has a bunch of nursery goods and stuff. So I, I can promote that in the back end. I teach that also within Printly. You, you can do this within any niche. It doesn't have yeah. to be uh, doesn't have to be baby showers. Uh, but the most important thing, I think, the most significant thing, it was it came off of it came off of a strange misunderstanding. I had people contacting me says. Where is the T-shirt information? T-shirt like, T -shirt information. What do you mean? And and I I asked. I'm like, yeah, I thought this is a course about printing T-shirts. And and this is like two or three times people were messaging me, messaging me, messaging me, messaging me about this. Yeah. I can't speak today. Forgive me. Been up since 3 a.m. And anyways, um, I uh, I'm like, let me uh, look into this. I I found these little mini search engines for T-shirts. T Public, Sunfrog, um, Teespring, I believe. I forget. And I said, hey, what if what if I apply the Printly method and I slap them on some T-shirts in these pre-made T-shirt uh, little mini search engines? What if I can uh, profit passively that way? Uh, and lo and behold, I did. So I put that little case study within within Printly 2.0. Also, besides that, there's a case study from Printly 1.0 on Etsy and on Fiverr on how to profit that way. Um, one of the things that I, I learned a lot is that most of my students, the ones that profited online, used Etsy the most. Um, I, I, 
I, I like I, I prefer them to use their own e-commerce site because they can profit more that way. But um, yeah, a lot of them use Etsy. I, I guess it, it has less barrier to entry. You don't have to create much. You just mm -hmm. slap on your principles and you can profit that way. But yeah, Printly 2.0 has different applications, more traffic sources, and a new way to, to profit with the Printly method, T-shirts. Okay. okay, that sounds good. Um, but just a question. So yeah, that's that's a whole a mouthful within this product. Um, but uh, it might sound a bit too much, but you, as you just mentioned, there, there's multiple or you, you teach everything you need to do to get this method working, but you can either start, like you said, you use Etsy, uh, running on the back of Etsy, and then when you get more comfortable, then you can actually create your own e-commerce store. You know, so it's, so basically the question is, who is it for? Do you need some uh, experience in the e-commerce business, or can anyone do this? No, uh, yes, anyone can do this. You don't need any experience in the, in the uh, e-commerce business. Um, like you said, if you the, the 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 technology is out there to make it simple, push button, easy to create an e-commerce store. It's not, there's not much involved, mm -hmm. but just in case you might feel hesitant for some reason, you can always uh, sell printables off of Etsy. So yeah, most definitely. Okay. Or you can sell gigs doing um, active uh, active um, active income, not so much passive, but active income. You can be on you can be on Fiverr and uh, sell some gigs that way. Uh, you can create lead magnets for people and stuff. And of course, in the new case study, the t-shirts. Yes. You can sell t-shirts, yeah. Okay, and um, yeah, what I remember from print, Printly One is basically you, you explain exactly how to create these printables, what works, what doesn't work and all that. So, I mean, it's what I like about, about the course, it's very structured and it, you basically take the customers by the hand and show them exactly what to do. So that's great. Thank you, Peter. Um, so the question is, how much time do you need to spend on this um, to you know to get the ball rolling and to start seeing results on a daily basis? Okay, uh, to me, after you, after you create the printables, which you can do in a, in, an, in an hour or so. And the first off, you have to find the, print, the printable product ideas. That's number one. Keyword research is number one. Mm -hmm. I never create a, a product based on what I think is a good idea. It's always based on what the market tells me. Of course, in Printly, I teach you how to do that um, from, from step one to step Z to, to the last step. Um, after that, you create the printables, and then you create the, the what I like to say, the, the boats that sell off into the sunset. These are your traffic getters. These are your Pinterest pins. These, these are the Facebook groups you belong to. Uh, there, there's a, a, a thousand ways to get free traffic, but I like to focus on primarily Pinterest, truth be told. Facebook groups is, is, a, is a close second, but it dep really depends on the niche you're in. Um, yeah, once you have that, uh, your printables on Etsy or on your e-commerce site, you create several pins that are related to your Pinterest, uh, related to your printables, and you want to focus. Again, Pinterest is a mini search engine. It's not so much a social media platform that people may think it's social media. It's really a really small search engine. You're going to make your description or revolve around the keywords using the uh, the Pinterest keyword tool that I have for you mm -hmm. inside of Printly, and then you post them. And uh, sometimes depends within a week, within two or three weeks, those 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 pins will rank and get you traffic to your printables. Yes. Okay. So in summary, you teach how to do keyword research to find out what the market needs. Then you show exactly how you, how you create these principles and what works and what doesn't work. And then essentially after that, it's just marketing through Pinterest and Facebook groups. And then that's right. Driving traffic to your to your printables and selling them and making profits. So that's basically that in a nutshell, correct? That's right. That's right. Okay. Exactly. So and you mentioned earlier you get the the Pinterest engine and uh, all all this stuff. So let's get to the actual product. So in the front end. Do, does, do you get all that stuff you mentioned before? That's uh, right. Everything I mentioned is part of the core product. Uh, okay. All of the uh, one-time offers, those are just supplementary. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the main, the core, the core, you have, you have everything you need. There's nothing that you need afterwards. There are things that can help you, but yeah. everything you need is in the less, as in the, the uh, course. Okay. So that does sound like a 
a whole lot of value in there. I mean, you you do give a lot in the front end. So, with, uh, with that, just let's uh, chat about the price point. So, what is what, first of Printly is launching on the nineteenth of Jan at ten a.m. Eastern time, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. And That's right. um, yeah, so so what's the price point, and is there early bird price, etc.? What's what's the idea around that? The well, the I, I believe the price points at fourteen dollars. Uh, I'm not. Mm, uh, well, initially when I first developed this product, I I, I had it up to ninety seven dollars because mm -hmm. to, to me I was giving away my secrets. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I, I learned quickly that in in this in this market, the passive income niche, whatever you want, want to call it, that you you have to you have to compete with other courses. Um, so mm -hmm. my my joint venture partner, Brandon Mace, he's popular on YouTube, as you may know, uh, he, he recommended that we lower down the price from $97 to $14 at the time. Uh, he's in charge of, of price points and stuff. Yeah. And I want, to, I want to say that it's 15, 14 bucks right now, but I'm, I can't say 100% sure. Hmm. On the day of the launch, I'll find out. No, I just checked, it's actually, yeah, so it starts at $14.95. And, uh, okay. Thank you for that. and knowing Brendan, it's normally a dime sell. So the sooner you get it, the the, the the sooner you get in, the better the price will be. So cool. That's right. Um, cool. And then from there, there's like you said, the upsells, um, which is complimentary. Uh, you don't need them, but the first upsell, what do you? What can we expect? Oh, done for you printables. Uh, printables done in several niches that are popular in Etsy, such as the religious niche. Uh, decorative quotes, uh, printable games, uh, dittos for kids, uh, adult coloring books, that's a thing. Um, like uh, around around those niches. So done for you, you don't have to get on Canva and create those printables yourself. You buy them, they're yours. And you're, you have uh, complete, um, you have all rights to them. All the images I use are public domain, so you don't have to worry about any copyright issues, any of that jazz. Okay, so, so essentially it's already, uh, products created from market research so you kind of skip the market research you skip the create the printables you go straight to marketing the printables that you get in the done for you package okay that's right and uh, I believe that goes for 37 bucks okay thank you so so, yeah, so that, that's quite good and after that what can we expect for the second uh, if you're yes if you're in the internet marketing niche um, or uh, you, if you found my product to be very useful and you want to spread the gospel truth, uh, you, you're, you, you have the ability to buy the license and sell it uh, and get 100% of the profits. The whole funnel is yours. And yeah, that's, uh, that's your choice. If you want to promote uh, Printly on, at your end and get, and, get all, and get all the profits there. Okay, so yeah, basically resell rights and all that. Fantastic. Um Maybe just to get back to, to the actual method, I mean, this is, again, this is what you do on a daily basis, this is your business model, this is your bread and butter, and your secrets. Um, the, the question is, how scalable is this, what can, what can you expect um, as, a, you know, as a starting point, like a monthly income, and how scalable is this? Can you scale this to $7, or seven figures a year, or what's the, where does this fit in? Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't do seven figures figures a year. This is more of a side hustle. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the beauty about it is that, for example, my my pink elephant baby shark printable game set. I know it's funny when I say come out of my mouth. That's made me. Uh, that, that's made me a lot of money, and I made that once. And I, you know, like I said, the ship sailed into the Pinterest sunset, and that traffic rolls in and and it converts on my e-commerce site. Uh, but that's the thing. Scalable means you, you 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 have to have the you have to take control of the traffic, and a lot of times that means paying for traffic. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess you could flood Pinterest with a bunch of images, and that's a version of scaling up the, the traffic. But you don't have much control over that. Um, you do have a measure of control uh with, with with the method because you are targeting certain keywords and these are keywords that you can easily rank for because pinterest is kind of easy to rank for the i mean different keywords and whatnot 
But yeah. as, as, as far as when it comes to scaling, I haven't tested too much with paid traffic. That's something that actually um, I'm looking into doing with Facebook and the t-shirt portion of the Printly model. Um, I, I'm allowed okay. to have a Facebook uh, pixel. I believe it. I believe in Sunfrog. Sunfrog is a site. Anyways, I looked everywhere for uh, one of these t-shirt companies which allows you to have a Facebook pixel. And I'm gonna start uh, testing that. See if I can see if I can scale that. But as far as this this method, it's a side hustle. Uh, th this is made to you know help you pay uh, a mortgage, um, okay. uh, help you take care of your bills, you know. But uh, you know, as far as scaling, that that I believe would require paid traffic, and that doesn't this course doesn't go doesn't go into that. Yes. Okay. But um, so essentially, it sounds like you create like I said back to the you kind of get create the your printable and the marketing for that and then once that's done you go on to the next one so that's kind of an asset that's out there so that's that, right so so essentially that's your passive income if, if it sells right. you get the income but meantime you're working on the new one if you're done with that one you go on to the next so over time you've got like a hundred different printables out there and the money just trickles in so that that sounds good and I mean if cool. you can pay a mortgage with this this is good enough for me and what yeah. I like about it, like you said, it's a side hustle. So I mean, I, I still have a full time, full time job. It's uh, starting in about half an hour. I've got an eight to five oh. job. So I mean, I, I also do my business on the side. So anyone can take Printly and just do it on the side, one one to two hours a day. So that sounds Definitely. that sounds great. Ike, thank you. Um, I want to, th yeah. I think we've covered everything. Um, is there anything else you want to add? Any words of wisdom? Um, and maybe just if anyone's got any hesitation of if this is for them, any final words um, from you? Yeah, uh, you know, try things and be consistent. That's that's all I have to say. Try things and be consistent. Mm -hmm. That's for anything. That's from if you want to learn to play the violin to what what I don't know anything. Learning learning how to profit online. Try, uh, try, try it, and be consistent. Be consistent. Be consistent. Be stupid consistent, like an ignorant person. Just move forward. My optic. Just go, yeah. and do it. That's all I can say. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not the richest person in the world, but I'm comfortable. And uh, you know, it, you know, at at first people say, oh, that, that that's not gonna work. Who, who who's gonna buy a, a a digital a digital print that they have to print out? That, that kind of defeats the purpose of buying something. You have to print out the the the, the game or the image is ridiculous. But look, I'm, I'm I'm living proof that you can profit this way. And there's a thousand ways to profit online. Okay, but whatever you do, be consistent. You know, that's all yeah. I can say. Okay, cool. No, no, thanks for that. Um, and maybe just to add, you. I mean, that's the beauty. A bit off topic, but I mean, that's the beauty of uh, making money online. You can you work from home. We can work from anywhere. You can go on holiday and still put in that hour a day if you want to. Um, but at the end of the day, it's spending more time at home and spending more time with, I mean, you've got kids and all that. I've got three. So it's, it's spending more time with the family. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, man. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. No, 100%. I, I want to thank you again. And um, yeah, thank you. Don't be a stranger. I'm sure I'm going to see you on my show again uh, soon. I'm going to bother you again, Peter. Thank you very much. <laughs> that sounds good. Um, Thank you. And all the best for the launch. Just for to remember the guys, it's uh, on the 19th of Jan at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I'll be make sh I'll make sure to remind you of that. And um, yes, like I said, great course and definitely something to pick up. And I I will recommend. But with with, with that, Peter, I you're an awesome host, man. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, Pleasure. but I guess I gotta get the last word. If you're you're an awesome host. Thank you very much. Follow this man. He knows what he's talking about. Um, and he's coming out with a product soon, and I can't wait to see it. Fantastic. Thanks for that, Ike. Have a, have a good day, and I'll speak to you soon. You have a good day. You have a good day. And there you have it, guys. Simple step-by-step -step video training showing you exactly what you need to do to start your own online business today using printables. Be sure to subscribe, and also leave any comments if there's any additional questions that I can direct straight to Ike. So go ahead and click the link below to check this out risk-free. You've got a full 30-day money-back guarantee. That's it from me, your host, Peter Dupria. Have a great day.